Hi, as I'm doing Easter Boss Up Boy, and today I'm doing a different video, and it's about our situation in midfielders. There are a couple of fans that no one that I've seen on here, but I've just seen, I've been hearing on Twitter and in grounds that don't fully understand the problem that some of our midfielders are going through. So I just want to make a video highlighting each midfielder and why they're in the team, why they're not in the team, just for you, just so you understand completely what is up with the midfield at the moment. Let's get right into this. Now, in pre-season, before the season even started, we had quite a lot of midfielders at the club. We bought in um, Doug Loft, already had the likes of uh, Owen Garvin, Tom Lapsley at the club. And of course, some did leave. For instance, Alex Gilby, um, George Moncur and Joe Edwards. But of course, he's playing right back, but could do a job in midfield. Now, going into the season, we had quite a strong, experienced midfield. Now... There are a couple of problems that have happened along the way to this point in which I'm making a video now. John has played a formation which sometimes only uses one central midfielder with um, Curtis Guthrie playing just in front of them. So this obviously creates competition. This obviously means that only one will, one player will get the place and that has been Tom Lapsley. Now people are saying, oh, why aren't Doug Love playing? Why isn't... Owen Garvin playing now. Then to both have injuries that you may not know about now. Doug Loft, when we bought him, we did know he had quite a bad Achilles injury and he was always popping up. It was literally his Achilles heel. So he came in, played pre season most of it, played in a few games, came on a sub, started against Portsmouth. Now, sadly, he after the Portsmouth match, he felt something in his Achilles and turns out. He could be out for up to three months now. I'm glad we aren't taking any, um, we're not risking him and taking precaution. And it is a shame because I would have loved to see him play a bit more. I think he would have done a world of good playing. He's very experienced at this level and even League One. So that is why Doug isn't in the team, which is a shame. Now, Owen Garvin is a bit of a strange one now. Coming into the season, no injury concerns, but then got to Hartlepool. Wasn't in the team, wasn't on the team sheet. Now, most people thought maybe he's on the way out, maybe he's injured. Now, he was, I don't know what injury set it off, but he played in the under-23s quite a lot for the August, I'd say, the majority of August. Now, he was trying to get his fitness back up. And uh, I did watch him a couple of times when he was at, when the under-23s were playing at home. And you could see he wasn't on top form, but when I last saw him play, which was against Nottingham Forest in a 2-0 victory, he did look like he started to regain his fitness and be the player of last season. Now, sadly, I thought, because he wasn't named in the next under-23 squad, I thought, finally, he's back in the squad. No, he wasn't. Because <laughs> it turns out he went down with a quad injury this time in training, which is very unfortunate for the man. I mean, trying to get your fitness back. I don't know if the quad was the one that set it off. And it just keeps reoccurring. Now, I don't know how long this quad injury is going to be for. I don't think it'll be too long. I think we could maybe see him in for Barnet at a push, maybe. Because he's not been playing in the under-23s at all now since he went down with the quad injury. So, I don't know if they're just going to chuck him back in. Because I do think he's fully fit now. He There's no reason why he shouldn't be. And... I think there was also a bit of concern about him leaving, especially on the deadline day when he posted a, I don't know what tweet you'd call it, I don't know if I'd say it's serious, funny, but some fans took it as a joke, some fans didn't, and I think the fans that didn't really need to just delete the tweets, it's a bit embarrassing, I mean, he's been looking at them tweets as well, and I think some fans have absolutely made a fool of themselves when tweeting him saying, oh, they should... Don't hit your head in the way out and whatnot. I think that's ridiculous. I think, you know, he's just trying to have a laugh. It is deadline day. And if you did look at the tweet, um, the picture, it wasn't even him. <laughs> it, just go and look at the tweet if you can find it and you'll understand. But there we go. That is the problem. And like I said, the formation has been a problem for the midfielders. I mean, at some points it is two central midfielders. And it is Guthrie sometimes with Lapsley. But sometimes Guthrie pushes up and it's just Lapsley. So I'm kind of glad, but kind of happy because it does create competition. But 
course, we're bringing um, Glenn Camaro in midfield just in case Tom Lapsley gets injured, which he has <laughs> at the weekend. Did pick up a little ankle injury. I hope it's not too long. Otherwise, it, otherwise it will be Glenn Camaro. And if not that, it, it's going to have to be Diaz right, which no one wants to play because as much as I'd love to play an 18-year-old, uh, I just wouldn't. I'd much rather have experience there. But I hope that's cleared everything up for you today with the midfield situation. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Please, please subscribe. It does mean a lot. We're on 194 now. Almost at 200. Let's try and push for that. Share the video. And I will see you tomorrow for the match preview of Barnet. So, bye.